work on uh, letting things go. And just like being in the flow of things and just like not trying to control everything in my life, you know. And I think that comes from just my personal trauma. Oh, wow. That's why I'm so The next disaster is going to happen. So I'm trying to like trust just the flow. If you're new here, my name is Aja. I make lifestyle, fashion, and law school content. And we're back with another vlog. Um, it's been since February since I've given you guys a vlog. And honestly, I apologize. I was just tied up at school. I'm the only one who edit my videos. And by the time I was trying to like vlog and edit, it was finals mode. So I really didn't have time to do anything at all. Um, but yeah. We are back. Today is Friday, May 17th. I'm back at home. I did visit Houston um, for two weeks. Well, I went back home, home. Um, for like two weeks um, right after my finals. And I just really had, um, yeah, I really didn't do anything. Um, I went to some prom send-offs. Um, I went bowling with my friends and really just um, celebrated Mother's Day as well um, and really just chilled and relaxed and hung out with my family um, so that's why I didn't vlog but I did vlog a little bit um, while I was preparing for finals so we're gonna go it's been a while um, the last time I posted a video was New York let me just say this semester has been dragging me by my hair um, it's just been a lot and now we are in finals mode. Um, it is actually the day before my first final, which is Kong Law 2. Um, it's 9.45 in the morning. So I'm just going to take you guys along with me for this day to see how I prep, like how I spend my days, um, the days before finals, um, specific, specifically ones that occur um, like that Monday, um, I usually like to spend half a day studying, um, and then spend the rest of the, spend the rest of the day, um, getting myself together, just decompressing, and, yeah, if at a certain time where I do my cutoff, if I don't got it, I don't got it, um, but we're not gonna speak that into, um, existence, because I have it, um, I've been studying like crazy, so, we're actually about to make some coffee. I'm about to make some coffee. I'm about to eat my breakfast. I made some boiled eggs. Um, I made two for tomorrow and then two for today. So I'm going to make that. I mean, I'm going to eat that. I might make a waffle. Depending on if I'm still hungry or not. Um, and then I'm going to head over to my friend my house. Study a little bit until the library opens at 2. And then we're going to go there, study for a little bit more, do a time exam, and then, yeah, I'm just ready to get it over. I'm honestly just ready to um, be done with this semester. So, yeah, I just have on a real chill, real casual fit. This top is from Sheen. These pants, I don't know where I got these nice little, like, yoga pants from. And then I just have on these don't mind how dirty they are, but I have on socks. Um, I might put on my Yeezy slides um, for more comfort. And then I have these blue light glasses that I got from Sheen. These are just really like accessory type glasses because my actual um, blue light glasses, Lorve, the Katie May glasses, those are the ones I usually wear. Coach necklace, coach earrings, James Avery rings. Um, but yeah. About to continue to um, make my breakfast and then we're gonna head out the door eventually in a little bit. Here 
here's my boiled eggs. Um, this one came apart while I was peeling it. And I was just trying to make sure that it was done on the inside. So that's why this one looks like this. But I'm very, very basic. The yolk, I do not eat. It's just something about... I don't know. I just don't eat the yolk. So I just eat this part. Um, and I use salt and pepper. Um, because I'm sure I will still be hungry. So. Do it like that. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll put too much pepper. But like I said, school has really been, it kind of flew by because it really didn't feel like we got started because the first two weeks, Classes were um, remote because of the weather. So we had like a um, a late start kind of. Um, yeah. And then for the longest, like, I did not have like a full week worth of classes because professors were canceling. They already had those dates within their uh, syllabus or we will be remote y'all record a video and have to watch the lecture so yeah that's just really how it was this year um now it's like it's crazy like i'm literally going into my last year of law school we're about to start my last year of law school like it just felt like i got here no lie. But it has been a journey, most definitely. But yeah. I'm going to finish getting myself together and then eventually we will head out the door. Yeah. I, I now all of a sudden I don't Now all of a sudden, I don't want this um, boiled egg no more. I don't know. This really wasn't doing it for me. So I'm probably about to make a bowl of cereal. Drink my coffee. And um, pack my backpack. And then we're out the door. y'all so it is exam day um and i just wanted to close out the vlog like i told y'all i like to be real comfy real um make sure i always bring a sweater just to, in case the rooms are cold um because i don't have time to be cold but yeah um it is 7 15 i'm about to head over to campus so yeah that was just how I really um, studied and prepared myself this semester. Honestly, truly, I felt like this semester, I didn't keep the same momentum that I had last semester. And I honestly felt like I was truly like burnt out a little bit um, because I was always tired. Um, energy drinks, coffee, nothing was just like really keeping me up. Um, so yeah, still waiting on one grade. Graduation is tomorrow. Now they've released their grades, the three L's and the four L's grade. The people who are graduating, they released all their grades, but it was three L's in our in one class that I'm missing a grade from. Why I still don't have a grade? I don't like that. That's favoritism. 
I understand the graduating, but I would like my grades too. Um, but yeah, I just really been in like, let's check, the, let's see if the grade is up. Hold on. Still no business associations grade. Like, stop playing with me at this point. But yeah, um, like I was saying, I feel like I haven't really been in the best mind space. Um, creativity, like my creativity hasn't been there. Um, spiritually, I've been in like this funk that I'm trying to get myself out of. Um, and it's just because I have like a lot of uncertainty right now. Um, I feel like... People don't really talk about, like, the uncertainty when it comes to, like, law school. Like, knowing what you want to do, but you're not seeing, like, things come to, like, fruition and all that. Um, so that's how I'm feeling right now. Um, I still do not have, like, a summer job. People don't talk about that as well. Like, how hard it is to find a summer job. Um... It is extremely, extremely hard to find a summer job in the field that I want to work in, which is sports and entertainment. Um, I replied to countless um, internships, had interviews, and just things just haven't um, come to like full circle. So that's why I've like really been in like a funk because I just feel like. While I am breaking barriers and doing what I love, um, doing something that, you know, most people cannot do, which is go to law school um, as a black woman, um, that number is even much, very much smaller. Um, now, while I feel like, you know, I'm doing, you know, I'm breaking generational curses, I'm creating my own seat at the table, I feel like I'm still in the same place, like literally in the same place like I'm just stuck um and yeah that's just how I've really been feeling um for the past few days I am waiting to hear like back from an internship that I really really want um still haven't heard anything I've reached out um so yeah the waiting game is just very very tricky um and I find that also like it's just like messing with my faith a little bit. Um, so I just been finding myself like listening to gospel, watching sermons, trying to read my Bible more. Not just read it, study it. Um, I read it. I I will open the Bible app, read the verse of the day, but actually like studying the word, that's something that I, that I need to find myself getting into. So yeah, that's just a little life update. Um, this weekend, I really don't, have we'll have a graduation party to go to tomorrow um but yeah other than that we're just gonna get my life together and try to pull myself out this funk um so yeah i'm about to make myself breakfast so we're gonna do that um and then i need to start cleaning my apartment now i did clean when i left previously um before leaving back to houston however I did not touch my office because like I just threw all my study stuff in there. I cleaned it up a little bit yesterday, but I need to finish that off. And I also need to unpack my suitcase. Um, I'm gonna go make breakfast. I need to clear my um, memory card, so I'm gonna do that. Oh wow, that's why I'm so emotional. <laughs> okay, that was just random, sorry. But I'm about to I'm about to clear my memory card, make myself breakfast, and then we're gonna get into cleaning my office.
cleaning up my desk. I'm currently in like this corner area where I have um let me show you. I'm like all these papers are from classes that I've taken um since I've been here that will be tested on the bar. Um so I got these folders. All of this contains all my notes, some notes, mainly my outlines, practice exams that I've taken, model answers. Um, so yeah, I've just separated them by each class and put them in these folders to put them over here so that once it is time for me to start my bar prep binder, which I'll probably be starting at, um, it actually should have been done, but I'm still trying to figure out what um, bar prep class I want to take. I mean, bar prep program I want to choose. Um, but now I just have all my stuff that I that I might need. Um, so yeah, I have this binder right here that I usually use for finals and all that, and it has the MBE MEE. Um, outline that for the classes that are usually well, the subjects that are usually tested on the UBE. So I have most of those. So I'm just straightening straightening this up. Um, and then we're going to move to this box that I have over here. I still have some stuff on the floor as well that I need to go through and make sure I um put it in its respective place. So yeah, and then after that, after my office is clean, we need to move to my bedroom, which is where my suitcase is, literally in front of my bed, sprawled open, clothes are just in there that I need to put up. So I'll do that. Also, let me take this down um, and put it in this folder as well. This is business associations. Take that down and take down my column all stuff that's on this other wall. Put it up. So, yeah. But do that. I'm trying to do everything before Jada comes because she's supposed to be coming over today. Um, so that we can watch Southern Sunset Orange County. New season came out, so I'm about to binge it. Um and I also need my mom to order my groceries. Like, girl, order these groceries so I can have some food before I wither away. Um, I'm actually about to text her right now and remind her to order the food so that it can get delivered because I'm not going nowhere. Even though Walmart is across the street, I'm not going to Walmart. Deliver it. Um, because it looks like it's about to rain again. So yeah, I need to go ahead and have her put that in because I don't like when they be coming when I deliver things and they are coming in like the rain. I just feel like that's just inconsiderate. So... I know that this is like what they do this is their job but i'll be having a little bit of consideration for people but let me do that and we're about to get back to cleaning before like everything kind of sort of i switched some things around a little bit these all of these pictures that you guys see etsy um all of them from etsy if i could find the links i will link them down below here's my favorite little area my bookshelf i have my books 
some accessories and we got a candle going from home scent use my code for money off um and i love this one because it says reading nook and yeah this box i need to go through but i'm just not gonna go through it right now um we seriously need to wipe this off um it's far from january as you can see i don't really use this um like i should but yeah Hey y'all, so it's been a few days since I last came on camera. Um, you saw, you guys saw me this morning. I was on a, I was watching a Bible study. Um, <clears throat> it is Tuesday, May 22nd. Um, and I just want to give like a quick update on like how I'm feeling, um, after everything that's been going on this week, um, and this past weekend. So I told you guys early in the vlog, I was waiting on hearing back from a potential internship that I really, really wanted. Um, I feel like this is one that I kind of put all my eggs like, in into. I feel like all my eggs into, and like I felt like this is what this was perfect for me. Like the interview went well. Looking at the culture, looking at the people, I just felt like this was something that was like for me. Um, however. I have not heard anything. Um, the internship starts tomorrow. So at this point, like I've accepted the fact that they've accepted who they wanted to accept. Um, and you know, God has something bigger out there for me. Um, and it had me reflecting yesterday um, on like my journey and feeling like I'm in a place where I'm stuck. Like that's honestly, truly how I feel like Yes, I'm getting a law degree, but honestly, truly, I feel stuck. Like, I feel stagnant. I feel like the path that I thought was the path for me, I just don't know at this moment if that is something that God still has for me. Um, so I'm just learning to accept the fact that things happen for a reason. God is the ultimate author in my life, and he's already written my chapter. He's already written the journey that... It's for me to take um, and it's just for me to live out and figure it out. Like he already knows what's for me. Um, so I'm just a character in his book at this point. Um, but yeah, yesterday I cried. <laughs> I cried last night again. Um, because it was really like disheartening. Like I was like, this is going to help me to break into the sports industry. This is going to help me to do this and that and network and truly gain valuable skills. Um, but it did not work out. Um, so yeah, I also felt like I'm going to take a break from like social media. When I say social media, I mean Instagram because I find myself also comparing myself to other people's journeys. And that is a big no, no, like that is a big, no, comparing myself to others is stealing my joy. It's making me feel like, what am I doing wrong? Um, and I just feel like I just need a break from that. I just need to really tap into the word, um, hone into the word, 
um, and seek and speak to God and truly figure it out what it is that he has for me. Um, so yeah, that's just a small little update. I don't want to like in this, um, log out on a low note on sad note, but that's just a little bit on how I'm feeling. Um, and why I really haven't vlogged as much, why I took a few days um, to just not pick up my camera, is because I was really, my energy was really, really like a roller coaster. Like I'll feel good if I was out busy, not thinking about it, I was good. Um, but once I got home or like once I was by myself or just thinking that would um, come over my energy and I would just feel really really dark really really low so I didn't want to like come into the vlog and you just see me you know with low energy those few days um so yeah if you made it to the end I want to thank you so so much for supporting me if you have not subscribed please subscribe to join the tribe and I will see you guys in my next video